Harvest season is upon us now. And harvest is one of the three parts of the triumvirate of food production. Those parts are husbandry, the harvest and butchering, followed by cookery. Each of those parts is equally important, each one vital to the end product, which is serving a nutrient-dense, high-quality meal for your family. But the harvest is the most critical in that it is isolated to a moment in time. The husbandry can be anywhere from several weeks to a couple of years, depending on what animal you're raising. In my case, it's lamb. So I'm looking at around seven months. And in that seven months, there's a lot of forgiveness. You can have a couple bad days in that time where perhaps your husbandry isn't as good as you want it to be. And there is forgiveness because you have plenty of time to fix things, make things right before the next phase, which is harvest. Harvest, however, is very critical because there is no forgiveness. You have one chance to get it right. And by getting it right, I mean having an environment which is very low stress, mitigating as much pain as possible for the animal, and doing it in a manner which is respectful to the animal being harvested.
Last season was my first season harvesting lambs, though by the end of my time harvesting last season, I got better, I got proficient with it, smooth. Uh, it started off a little bit rough. This year, it was dramatically smoother and a much more peaceful event for all parties involved. My friend David from the Hardneck Homestead came over to help just as he did last year without David. Uh, I don't know where this homestead would be. He's been a tremendous help for the work I've been doing here, so thank you, David. But David came over last year and together we harvested seven lambs, and this year we only had two to do. That was actually gonna be for our meat. So we harvested our two feeder lambs, and having a lot less to do gave us more time to go a little bit more slowly and not feel rushed like we were racing against the clock just to try to get them done and that resulted in also a more pleasant experience overall. Another thing that contributed to making harvest this season much easier was this guy. This is a Gerber knife that has a disposable blade at the end of it. 
So when the blade on it starts getting dull, instead of having to stop and sharpen a knife, you just pop a new blade on. It's fantastic. My biggest hero in the agrarian renaissance movement, of course, is Brandon Sheard from Farmstead Meatsmith, uh, who sent me this carbon steel knife, which I used a lot last year for harvesting. And I wanted to be a lot like Brandon in that I was only using vintage carbon steel knives to do the harvesting and skinning. However, I found myself having to spend a lot of time dealing with sharpening a lot more time than I wanted to. So I sold out and I switched to this modern device here for convenience and I really liked it. It's really good for skinning. Sheep wool, the hair, even on hair sheep, is really bad for taking the edge off of a blade, making it dull really quickly. So when you're opening up the hide just to start skinning, you start off getting dull right away. So having this right here saved me a lot of time because I was able to skin an entire lamb and then just pop the blade off and have a sharp knife again for the next one, no problem. The first part of the harvest phase is behind me now, which is slaughter, skinning, and evisceration. And now we're moving into the second phase of that, which is butchery. So I hope you'll join me in an upcoming video where I show you the butchery I'm doing with the animals we just harvested. The harvest is never fun. As Brandon Sheard says, death is always painful. There's no way to make it a good experience for the animal or the harvester. But the butchery, this is where we're getting really close to the point where we're ready to serve some food, which is the whole point of everything we're doing here in the Grassfit Homestead. And the butchery is where the art comes out. The butchery is where the beauty comes out. And I look forward to sharing that with you.